Hi Tech Venture 6.0 students, you should have seen some more icons at the beginning of this video. Those have been voted on by students from other classes in the past and those were some more winning icons. Yours may or may not be looking like those, that's okay. We'll get to the icons in just a few moments. Today's plan is pretty simple. At Schoology, When you're on day 25, you're going to be updating the GPA spreadsheet. Should take no more than two minutes to update your GPA spreadsheet. I'd like you to finish the typing lesson called VHNM. Now, VHNM, if you'll recall, we started uh, previously. You should have finished the first seven screens from VHNM, meaning that you only have six more screens to go. Please don't be worried about your speed. Focus on your technique, your posture keeping your fingers based on the home row, keeping your eyes focused on the screen instead of on your fingers poking away at the keys. If something turns red, be sure to fix it. And don't worry about working ahead on beginner lessons. We're just taking our time and doing it correctly. Now, when you're finished with that lesson called VH and M, don't forget to take your partial screenshot. I happen to have my slide typing.com available here and I've put my VHNM screenshot on there. You'll notice we're about halfway through the typing lessons at this point, and hopefully you guys are starting to pick up a skill by doing uh, each day or every other day a little bit of typing. You should be getting a little bit better at it each day. Part three. Uh, the remainder of today's class after you finish typing.com and updating your GPA spreadsheet is going to be focused on the icon for our class called Tech Ventures 6.0. Just a reminder what an icon is. It's a small picture that represents something. If you can follow my pointer on my screen, I'm moving it up to an icon that represents Schoology. And the one right next to it represents typing.com. Well, here's some things that I'd like you to have. I'd like you to have two or three or four icons that you complete before the end of this hour. I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tutorial about ordering and grouping the icons. Here's some uh, rules or things that you need to follow. In other words, give it a title. Start with a square. Make sure it's colorful. Make sure it's all your original design. I've had some students ask about can they use um, an existing picture or image and the answer is no. You have to create everything. Be original and creative and have fun. Now I've had um, some questions coming in from classes about how to change the order on some things. So I'm going to go to a Google drawing and I've put together, it's, it's just a basic, it's not that fancy of an icon here. And I'm going to zoom in. You'll find that it's a lot easier if you will zoom in on your art. There. Okay, a couple things here. Suppose I added something onto here, and um, the order at which I've put things is out of order. We had a little tutorial on this in a previous video, but if you want to move something, you have control over it. For instance, right now I'm going to click on the, the main square of my icon here. And I can change the order of that square. Right now it's the base. It's underneath everything that's on there. If I go to Arrange, Order, and then Bring to Front, you'll notice that it comes to the top of everything. If I click Undo, there you go. Um, every once in a while you'll have an occasion where you want to see part of something or you need to send something to the back. Quite simple. Select what it is, Arrange, Order, and Send to Back. So by selecting it and then using the Arrange button on the menu, you have total control over the layers that go on your Google Drawing. Um, another thing, um, you'll notice that on my drawing, if I zoom back out to fit, you'll notice I'm not using my entire drawing area. I'm just using a, a square here that I've started with. And if yours is real big, I'd like you to consider doing what I'm about to do. And you should probably do this anyway. I'm going to draw a selection box around the entire drawing. Everything is selected. I'm going to click on Arrange, and I'm going to choose Group. Again, we've talked about this a little bit in the past. 
Now, instead of this being, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different things, this is one thing now. I can move it, I can resize it and reshape it and, and do all kinds of stuff to it. Not that I want to, but it's grouped. And so use the layers, make sure you put things according to the layer that you want, but also when you're finished with an icon, group it. If you've got a great big icon right now, be sure to group it, make it smaller. Move it to a space so that you can create more icons right here on this drawing.